Looking around, everything that you see is made up of small particles called atoms. When we talk about anything that exists, we are talking about matter. So whether it's living or non-living, if it has mass, if it has substance, we refer to it as matter. And all matter, anything that exists, is made up of atoms. Each atom is a unit that is also made up of smaller parts. These small parts are called subatomic particles. When we look at the word subatomic, we can break it up. Sub refers to within something and atom. So subatomic particles are the particles within an atom. There are three main subatomic particles, protons, neutrons, and electrons. Hopefully you've heard of them before. Some of these particles have charges to them, which is a kind of attraction that they will have. Protons are always positively charged. They have a positive attraction. Neutrons have no charge to them. And electrons are negatively charged. To the right, I'll have a picture of a basic atom. The proton and the neutron are always in the center of the atom, called the nucleus, while the electron zips around on the outside of the atom. This is what we refer to as the electron orbital, or the outer shell of the atom. So we have the positive proton and the neutral neutron in the middle, and the electron, which is negatively charged, going around on the outside. One important rule to remember about charges is that opposites always attract. You've probably heard that saying before, that opposites attract. Well, it applies to opposite charges as well. Positive charges and negative charges attract. Two like charges, two positives, for example, would repel each other. They don't want to be around each other. Two negatives would repel. They don't want to be around each other. This actually explains why the negative electron circles around the positively charged nucleus in the center. Instead of the electron zipping off in a straight line, it's slightly pulled towards the positively charged middle of the atom. And remember, the center of the atom is positively charged because there are positively charged neutrons in the middle. 